Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be learning to make uh, some more watercolor vegetables. I've drawn out these vegetables and inked them with waterproof ink on a watercolor sketchbook and I'm going to start off with the lady finger. So green is what um, I'm going to be creating for the base and adding some darker green on the edges. Since it's wet on wet, I don't really need to blend in too much and we'll just let it dry this way and see how it looks. For the turnip, I'm starting with a purple. If you don't have a purple in your palette, you will mix some blue and some red to get the color. Top part is in purple, the bottom part I'm adding a little bit of green. And to layer it up, I'm adding some darker purple and some crimson. If you have trouble mixing your colors, you can look at some of my earlier videos which uh, help you to understand how to mix your colors and to create different shades using just the primary colors which are there. Now for the radish, I'm starting off with um, a very light uh, yellow tint on top of which we will add um, our leaves, we will do those colors and then in the end we'll see if we need to add some more details on the body. One tip to create these leaves is towards the bottom part, you can make it slightly darker and as it goes towards the top, it can become a little lighter. That way you know that um, the light is uh, coming towards the top and it's a little dense at the bottom. Now that the bottom part of the radish has dried, I've taken a little bit of uh, brown to add in um, some depth in some areas. Now for the bitter gourd, this is again in green, um, since it has like a scaly texture, you're going to leave some areas of white in that you're going to mix in some lemon yellow then you will add patches of darker green since this is wet on wet technique you don't have to do any effort to mix your colors up keep just one thing in mind don't add excessive water which means everything will blend into each other and you will still not be able to get a very good effect Start off your corn with using some cadmium yellow. Uh, if you don't have a cadmium yellow in your palette, it's fine. You can use lemon yellow and maybe add a little bit of yellow ochre, but it will still dull the color. A cadmium yellow has a very nice bright color uh, tint to it, which I really like. So I'd like to use that. And now for the outsides of it, I'm using very light green to add in my details. For the celery, start off with a very light green. You can just add it in some of the places. Uh, you can even leave it as it is. You don't even need to add a darker layer. But um, if you do add it, make sure that you don't cover the entire area. Add it in some places um, to give uh, the effect of light and shade. To practice your watercolors, I would always recommend to you see the object in front of you keep it um, at your eye level and try and recreate the same thing that makes up for very good practice um, you don't always have to look at another painting and recreate it because then you will still be doing somebody else's style and you're not really creating something on your own so this is a tip that i would give all of you who are watching this video right now whether you're in the beginners level or the intermediate level always try that for the plantain, I'm starting off with some green and for the inside area, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow because once you cut it open, um, the inside colors are slightly different. For the corn, I'm just going to add in a little bit of darker uh, brown inside to add in some effect. You don't need to add too much of this. This is just an additional uh, thing if you want it. I hope you had a nice time watching this. Do recreate. Subscribe to my channel to get further updates. Thank you.